it was weird and crazy week two in which things like Tom Brady had more rushing yards than did Ezekiel Elliott. Our fantasy league was no exception. Well, first off, congratulations to Rachel June, Andrew, Uncle Dwayne, and Auntie Carmen, and Sarah for your very first wins of the season. Week two, top five. Number five, Sarah wins her very first fantasy football match. Congratulations. And let's be clear, this is not a fluke. Her team looks good on paper, as I said last week. Number four, David Wu wins his sixth match in a row dating back to last season. It all came down to Monday night. Uh, that's when I needed eight or more points from Shane Vereen and a kicker named, last name is Rosas. They gave my team 11 points to defeat Chuck. For those who watched on Monday Night Football, that delay of game near the goal line was actually pretty huge because it forced the Giants to go for a field goal to my benefit and the win. Number three, James wins his 12th match in a row. The amazing accomplishment keeps on getting better and better, so congratulations to James. Number two, Rach and June show absolutely no grace to Mike and them boys, scoring a league-high 146 points, catapulting them into the current seed number three. Congratulations. And now, number one. The fantasy gods have finally swiped right on Team Felix. His 10-game losing streak has been snapped, finally. He graduates from one ply to two ply. And the all-around performance by Andrew and Team Felix earns him the award of Owner of the Week. Is it possible that he goes from worst to first this season? You never know. Now let's take one look at the standings. James and David have an early advantage at 2-0. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown your ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we never got the hook. But on the other hand, Mike and Omar and Isaac have the least margin for error for the rest of the season. And it's getting close to must-win territory in order to remain in the playoff hunt. Uh, the playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. Look out for any desperation trades. And remember that for any trade, if five teams vote against it, or more than five, then it's going to be rejected. And keep in mind that these votes must be made on the league website or the ESPN app. So that's all we have for this week. It is on to week three. Have fun and God bless.